Okay. Um, all right. Let me let me jump into a little bit more about your day to day experience, Heather, because my you know my main focus with this is to help caregivers know that they're not you know the only ones in the world doing this tough job. Because that's one thing that doesn't really change regardless of what kind of dementia it is. It's all so difficult. So. Can you share a little bit about what your day-to-day life is like as a caregiver? Yes. So Monday through Friday, I um, I am I don't work on Saturdays and Sundays. I do at the hospital every Saturday and Sunday. So my situation's a little bit different, and um, so I'm home with my mom Monday through Friday. Normally, it's not. I can kind of direct her. I know when she kind of gets up, but with any type of dementia, they have sleep issues. Um, I don't know what that is all about, but no matter what I do, she's up at the crack of dawn. So depending on what time I get up, she can be very angry because she doesn't understand why I'm not up, why there are people not up you know, to help her. And she almost waits for other people to get breakfast or do things that she needs. And then she becomes very angry and resentful. Um, But when I say that, my mom's not an angry person. So she'll just give you the silent treatment. (laughs) Whereas other family members are very verbal. Um, when When it comes to anger, I've taking care of a lot of dementia patients and it's it's very interesting how they react to certain things um but if i'm talking on the phone if i am doing anything with work i have to almost make her busy and if she's not in the same room with me she'll peer around the corner trying to figure out who i'm talking to and she does get very paranoid because her perception of Anything that anybody is doing is about her. Um, So it's a very interesting world that she lives in. Um, So you're taking care of all aspects, Um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, trying to figure out what she needs. If she's getting antsy, um, if she's getting angry, you have to – I usually take her for a walk um, around the block just to kind of help her – communicate better because when we take a walk for whatever reason she talks more um but it's weird because when my mom was young or when i was younger and my mom was younger she (laughs) she would always talk on the phone like she's a very verbal person so she still is that that part hasn't changed but it's just hard to understand what she's saying now 